Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's a World War II 28 millimeter miniatures game called Bolt Action. Uh, this one here is the M10 Wolverine tank destroyer for that game. And uh, there's the cover art. It's really beautiful. I love the look of it. And uh, this is the contents of it. We got a bolt action stat card, full color water slides, constru uh, construction leaflet that tells you how to build it, and some damage markers. And you can see that there's a couple decal sheets in there. That's cool. And they threw, they throw in these cards now to where you don't have to keep flipping through your book. You can just put it on the table and it gives you all the stats and what guns and stuff like that. Plus they include some tank markers with it. So looking at the back here, uh, we got a nice display of some British tanks uh, in their uh, British M10 Wolverine and the two-tone brown camouflage. It looks great. And this box also includes the British and American crews, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to paint it in a pretty neutral scheme. Um, and if, if it's possible, well, after we open the kit, to be able to remove these magnetically or just by plopping them in to the tank. I may or may not. Really, I got this kit for uh, my Americans, uh, but I'd like to use it with the British too. As you can see, they tell you on the card, you can use it for the uh, Great Britain or the United States. So, and we got a picture and a little bit about the M10 uh, tank destroyer. So uh, let's open it up. Let's take a look. See the contents, got a leaflet. Is that everything? That is everything. All right, so we got our markers. These obviously have to be glued onto these bases, or if you don't want to glue them onto bases and find something else you want to glue them to, it's perfectly fine. But I usually just put some ground on there that matches the bases for my uh, bolt action guys, and then I'll um, use these markers and set them next to the tank on fire. You know, just your normal markers for your tanks, which is cool that they include that. It's kind of like pins. Uh, in the starter sets uh, or in the uh, uh, the red pin markers that uh, come with it, uh, the some of the starter sets. So here's your card. Uh, it tells you uh, the points for an inexperienced regular veteran. It tells you exactly what it is, what war period it is, mid or late, and who can use it. And on the other side, and this is what's brilliant about it, it tells you it's tracked. You can't transport. Its uh, damage value is an eight plus on the front, and it's open topped. And it gives you a little description. The options you can have and the weapons that are uh, are uh, on the uh, tank itself. So that's a really cool addition. You can put this down on the table in front of you and you have everything you need right there. So we got our decal sheets, which are pretty nice. I really like these. Um, obviously got the star, you got names like the Havoc, um, and you got the British symbols, the Great Britain symbols. Um, I believe that's what those are, possibly. Um, I've seen these triangles on uh, uh, their Churchill tanks and stuff like that. So this one, it says British armor decal sheet and the M4 Sherman decal sheet. So there you go. That explains it. Very good. Always good to have extra decals. Obviously, they have an instruction sheet. It's two pages. Really simple. And then the money. We have the sprues. Let me uh, grab my knife. All right. We got the knife here. <clears throat> Looks like I knocked a couple pieces off there doing that. Shouldn't have done it that way. All right. Cool thing is, it doesn't fall off on the floor. It falls in the bag. <laughs> so there it is right there. One of the exhausts looks like. So we got two sprues right here. Uh, looks like the a bathtub hull right there. <clears throat> right there is nice. We have the top. Nice solid pieces, good detail on them. So that's pretty cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the tools that I use uh, to normally build things first. Then I'm gonna build this in its entirety and I'll come back afterwards and tell you how it went together, uh, what not to do and uh, uh, some tips and tricks on, on putting this sucker together. And I'll be back in a second.
right. There you have it. There is the M10 Wolverine all put together. Fully functional uh, turret and, and gun inside. It's got some detail. I can pop this off. Uh, do it the other way. Yeah, that antenna. I don't want to break it off. It's got some detail on the inside. And uh, that's easy to get to, so I can paint that up. No problem. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, wasn't that difficult. There are some really small pieces, especially on the inside. Uh, like these over there, those little D pieces. I use some tweezers, and these are a real nice pair of tweezers I got uh, off of Amazon. I got a set of tweezers. They weren't that expensive. Uh, if you're interested, um, they do come with uh, tank crew. They come with British, uh, Great Britain, and the United States. They are right here. Um, I will paint these separately, and then I will put them in when they're done painted, uh, when they're finished painting when I'm finished painting with them. Um, just a couple quick things that I want to note uh, <clears throat> uh, on the instructions. This, this piece right here and this piece right here, um, I noticed that the wheel sections here and this piece here should be on the opposite side. So 35 should be over here and 36 should be over here and this 30, 24, and 27. They should be swapped. The bottom bottom tracks are fine. Everything else fits fine. It's just that I think these just these numbers got swapped around um, uh, as far as the instructions go. But I mean, you can pretty much figure it out um, when you see it go on the tank itself. Other than that, I really didn't have any other problems with the instructions um, and how they were laid out at all whatsoever. So. Just a quick tip there. Uh, you will need some, some sort of tweezers to help you put on these very tiny pieces. It did help me out when I started using them. Um, other than that, it's a wonderful build. There's plenty of really good detail here um, on the tank itself. So uh, turn this around here. Uh, can we turn it all the way? Looks like, yeah, we could if this gun wasn't there. <laughs> If we're stowing it fits nice in there yeah anyway so <clears throat> i really like the kit i really like the wolverine i think it's going to be a nice addition except for the of course the uh open topness of it <laughs> uh but uh a nice addition to my americans or my british um i'm gonna paint paint up both crews and uh, see if i can't magnetize them to where they'd work uh in the turret here so if not, no big deal. I'll just make them American. Because um, my American forces, all they have is a Sherman. And uh, I have a couple Churchills for the Br Great Britain. I've got a, a Firefly and uh, a couple other uh, light tanks for the British. And I only have Shermans for the Americans. So, uh, but yeah, um, other than that, uh, I used a different type of glue uh, than a CA glue. Uh, it works better, this Tamea. Uh, extra thin cement works great on tanks and small parts. Uh, this stuff here, um, it's thicker. It's just regular th cement. It's thicker and it, I think it bonds quicker. So if you're doing big parts like this, if you just do one slab, boom, it'll stay. So those glues are definitely, definitely come in handy. So, um, but other than that, I'm very happy with this. Um, went together wonderfully. Uh, I've got plenty of decals to add to it, depending on what I'm going to make it, <clears throat> which and, and all in all, it's going to be versatile. So, and the markers, they're real easy. Just take some CA glue. I want to, I want to actually, uh, grit these up and stuff like that and make them look like ground, uh, or something along those lines or before I glue the actual templates or the, uh, fiber to it. So. <clears throat> but like I said, other than that, I'm very happy. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word. I'd really appreciate it. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch you in the next video.